Hi, today's lesson is about cladding. So, what's the meaning of cladding? Cladding is a surface that lets you distribute planar, linear, and concentrated loads on bars, panels, and supports. This object can facilitate generating loads. It, it allows you defining real structure objects that do not participate in the load capacity of a structure. So, what should we do to start uh, making a uh, cladding? Well, first we do our usual steps of uh, making a new grid. Define for x axis, for example, we have 2 and 5 meters. Add for y axis, we have 2, 5 meters values, no, letters. And for z, we have 2. We have four meters and values do not include stories. Start making columns. Column sections have been defined in the last uh, lesson. So choose the one that you have uh, defined. And if you do not know how to define the one, just click on this one and insert the properties of your column that means the width and height and choose the one that you have defined and determine its height as uh, 4 meters and start drawing but before that choose the uh, the height above the ground at which you, you are start, uh, starting uh, drawing your columns this one and start drawing columns Then close it, check that using the view. Okay, correct. Now start making beams and also beams cross sections have been defined in the last lesson. So check it out and start drawing them. Uh, use drag. and one missing close it and check that turn on the cross section it's ok now go to plan and choose your level it's choosing for and start making uh, the cladding go to geometry cladding now you have uh, three options contour, rectangle, or circle. It's a rectangle, uh, two way, it should be two way. And if, you, if it's rectangle, then you have to define three points, just three points this one, and this one, and this one. Then close it and check it from here. It's okay. Turn off the sections and select the cladding from here then go define the loads on the cladding go to load types dead load okay let's just consider dead load add it as an example close define loading as uh, surface load, it's a uh, gravity load like that on x axis we don't have, on y we don't have on z axis let's make it as 5 5 kilo, kilo pascal uh, add it and apply it to the cladding because it's uh, choosing or write the number of uh, the element it's uh, 58, you can know that from here the number of the element then apply close it and start analyzing if you want detailed analysis just click on the results and from there 
check uh, uh, choose detailed analysis from the pop-up menu uh, click on MZ uh, MY and apply you can see that and if you want to show the shear FZ apply and if you want to show the normal force just click on the FX and apply and to show the reactions go to results diagram for bars and change the view which is front and turn off the sections then go to reactions from here and reactions are in the direction of Z axis so they are FZ show description for them then press on apply close that and as you rotate you can see the value which is for this column for this uh, reaction it is FZ equals to 58 and that's uh, logical because uh, we have only one loading condition which is the dead load the next step of analysis is showing the stresses to show the stresses go to the original view from here turn off the sections and turn on the number of uh, elements and select the member that you want for example we select uh, beam 55 this one and then open it in a new window this one go again to results diagram for bars and from that choose stresses well then we have stresses as bending s max M Y this one and apply turn off section and and you see it you can you can make it bigger from here and you see that the final step is showing the tabular form of data go to the original view and then go to analyze uh, results reactions this is the tabular form of data for reactions and the same thing you can do for uh, forces as well as deflections and stresses and if you want to show the tabular form of data for a single element do the following go back to this view and select uh, an element for example this one and right click tables table builder to current selection and choose the one that you want to show for this time select forces and ok well this data is uh, for the whole object and if you want to show that data for three points on that object uh, that means at the beginning uh, at the mid span and at the end you can do that by right click and uh, special filter and from there the, uh, you choose the division points as three instead of two and from extremes choose for a single point and okay and that's it
MI we have minus 15 and in the uh, 15 and minus 26. Well, that was our lesson for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye.